Okay, everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, I took like a half hour break in between that last video and this one to, you know, just slow down, process everything that just happened. I guess Aerith is more important than we thought. She is known as the Ancient. I don't know what that means, and again, I know they're splitting this into three parts. We might not know what that means until maybe even the next game. I have no idea. Um, I'm still kind of holding out hope that Wedge is alive. Seeing him die while holding a cat has traumatized me slightly. And uh, yeah, I hope he's not actually dead, because that would really suck. And it would suck even more if the cat was dead, because the cat does not deserve that. Oh my goodness, I didn't even think of the fucking cat hideout. The cats are all dead. Oh, there were so many of them. Oh, I didn't even think about that while I was collecting my emotions. Oh, no. Why? Oh, maybe this video will just be me crying for like 10 minutes and then that'll... Fuck! 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 Anyway... We have a game to finish, so... Let's get to it. I want to see what the map looks like. Am I allowed to do that? Make our city map. I still list them there, I guess, or no, it's kind of like in a collapsed state now, I guess. Okay. And words of hope, okay. All we can do is march on. How could this happen? I didn't really think that... So, What's going on? so we're seeing some of them, you know, regret their way of thinking. Oh, well, we're back here now. Oh, this was Sector 6, right? So some of them made it out. Not all of them did, I guess, obviously. That was not an accident. Seemed pretty calm. Okay, I kicked that sign for now. I'll just keep kicking. I'll keep kicking it. I'll fuck shit up. I see it. Where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. I'm down, Barrett. We're all emotional right now. Tifa, know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even okay. commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Time for a flashback. Okay. Is my birthright. We've still barely even seen him. Technically, we haven't in the flesh. I would love to see how this original game was structured. At this point, I have a feeling we're not even going to see him until Rebirth. I mean, I, I see him get talked about on Twitter like crazy right now, so I know he's in that game. Isn't that what you want? Cloud? Hmm. 
It's nothing. Let's go. God, there's so much going on right now that I almost completely forgot he existed. Oh, great. We're back here. Honestly, yeah. That's fucking nuts. on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. I hope she's there. I would assume Aerith, because Aerith said let's make a deal. Maybe they let her drop the kid off. I would assume they had absolutely no interest. In oh, hey. What do we need for Thanks that madam M. What you doing here at a time like this? I don't know, man. Vibing. Hanging out. I can actually buy one of these now, so do it. He saw wind? No, that's that so hard to find. There's no shop in this town, right? Sorry, Teeth. Back this way. Hold on a sec, Barrett. I know you want to see your kid, but I want to go shopping. But we sock other stuff too. Great. Only buying those at discounts. Yeah, let's uh we'll Thanks a bunch. roll with what we got for now. I assume Biggs and Jesse are both dead. I mean, Jesse seemed very dead to me. I, I wouldn't have described her as in bad shape. I would have described her as very much dead. That again, that's why it's confusing. It seems like not final, although it should be. Even in times like this, we explore. Star pendant, nice. a part of the family now. You love to see it. But I feel like Biggs and Jesse are both dead. That would be kind of weird if all of them were alive. I'll, I'll be honest on that. I feel like there needs to be like consequences or some form of I mean, well, I shouldn't say there was a huge form of loss just now. So, you know, just uh, you know. It's not like it's lacking that, but everything with Jesse seemed very final. Everything with Biggs kind of did. I don't know. That was 50-50. That, that felt weird. Wait, 
What does it mean? This is this was this was a first for their world, I guess. But there was like a. I mean, I guess it did happen once before, if I remember correctly. I don't know. But yeah, it's weird. Like normally you can, like the plate's just up there, and you know that, that's got to be like a, just like a shock for them in this universe. fast as you are. I can't even imagine how it looks over there. And now, anywhere the Midgar is still safe? Midgar is in one following the collapse of the Sector 7 plate. Is there another explosion? TV? Sorry, hon. Not selling any food or water. Right, the Moogle Emporium. It's a weapons store here. Materia shop here. Wait, that's where it was, right? Is it blocked off at the moment? It would appear to be. Okay, so we're not supposed to go back there, obviously. Open shops right up here, right? Did a plate really fall? Did man. Burp kind of snuck up on me there, but I tried to hold it in. Ooh. Good one. I'll take it. Pretty good on shit right now. Yeah. World's just too dangerous these days not to keep a weapon at your side. He's alright. Did a plate really fall? I'm gonna try to sell some stuff here. Let me see. Weapons. Yeah, see, like, why would I keep this? It just lowers everybody's stats, so we can sell that. Finally, we sold something. Uh, this mostly lowers everybody, so there's no need to hold on to that. those <laughs> okay I mostly just wanted to buy that weapon just to I don't know if it's any good but like pretty cool Lowers our attack significantly, though. No, let's just keep our money. World's just too dangerous these days not to keep a weapon at your side. Amen, brother. We should be going up here now. Oh, I did want to stop by the materia shop. Okay, we don't need to sit there. Oh, hi. You survived. That's good. I'm glad to see that you're okay. In these trying times, I hope to develop new materia to help us endure. Great. This chair is like stuck. What has he got? Oh, 
Oh, he f finally some more wind materia. I will take that. Just because how rare it is. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Oh, yeah, because I have so... I have nothing else going on right now. There's definitely not any more pressing matters than this kid's research. Anyway, moving on. Am I heading the right way? Yes, yes I am. Alright, the kid better be here. We need a happy moment. Biggs wanted me to stop by here, didn't he? Assuming he's dead, I will have to honor his wishes? I guess not. Okay, I can't interact with them, so... Kick your ass. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! <laughs> oh, yeah, gigantic man with a gun on his hand. Oh, she's talking to someone. My little girl. Uh, uh, mm. Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing uh, pink. She was wearing a she's pink dress today. Upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. Uh, He, he, in this situation, he has to see, see her. Too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Like, he has to actually see her. I would want to see her. <laughs> if she were my kid. Keep it down. Don't wake her. Okay. We guess another obstacle course here. Yes. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. That's... It's not your fault. It's an exaggeration, but... It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. Oh, we're gonna get plot exposition, I think. Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that? No. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes. Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. <sighs> About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went to wait and to pray. And 
that's how I met her. Her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market. Or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. Damn. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. Logic's a little weird there, but okay. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. That makes sense. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? She does say random things like that. A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a she letter can? saying my husband had been killed in action. See things in advance? Things like that. She'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Oh, this dickhead. No! Go away! Aaron, you know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. My eyes are glued take right the now. Words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us. You're wrong, I'm not an ancient. But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! Guess that means I'm an ancient. All three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. That's... She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. Uh -huh. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, 
Maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. I Maybe wouldn't bet on it. We'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. I would assume the bar doesn't exist anymore, but... Okay. So I would assume we're just leaving the kid here, and I'm assuming Barrett's okay with that. I'm gonna talk, to, wait for her to wake up and talk to her. Oh wow. <laughs> Go me. Hey kid. We're gonna win this fight. I promise. Well said, Barrett. felt like our most important episode to date. There was a lot explained there. We're still not crystal clear on exactly what's going on here. But it's, the picture is a lot clearer now, for sure. I, I kind of figured I was right that Aerith had some sort of power. That she could see things. Whatever you want to call it. You know, see the future, I guess, for lack of a better way of saying it. And that very much turns out to be the case. I, I am hooked on this game. There's a lot happening... Um, if it was literally any other game releasing in four weeks, other than Paper Mario, because y'all know me, I am the biggest Paper Mario head out there. I love the first three games to death, and I like Origami King too, but I love the first three games, especially the first two games to absolute death. I love those two games. If it weren't for that, I'd be getting right into Rebirth as soon as I finish this. I am hooked. This is awesome. But even then, I know the story's not complete. There's still going to be a part three a few years down the road, so I can take my time there. But of course, this story's already been out there. I could just play the original. But now we've gone on this journey. We're going to see it through with this new, revamped, modern journey that they have us on. So, anyway, I've rambled on long enough. This was, this was a huge episode. There was... I, I didn't I know I went silent like I said I always go silent for important moments like that I feel like I'm missing something I just kind of lock in for lack of a better way of saying it I just lock in it's I get mesmerized when uh, everything's done right and this game is pretty much doing everything right with the exception of some side missions that pissed me off but save that for another time anyway I will see y'all in the next video where we're gonna have a lot more fun and hopefully more happy times and hopefully find Wedge alive with the cat. So next time, friends. Peace.